What's up, everybody? And uh, so today we're going to learn about geometry. We're going to learn translations. And translation is a fancy way of saying slide. So I'm going to show you guys how we slide objects around on a grid. And I'm just showing you the very basics. We're going to get a little bit more complicated later, but today is just very simple. Translation means to slide and what does slide look like. So I have here this red L, and I'm going to slide it. I want to slide it five units to the right. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to slide it five to the right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That means it started here where the blue was, and I slide or slid it five units to the right. So it just goes over one, two, three, four, five and it ends up right there. It did not change in shape. It did not change in size. All the angles stayed the same. And that's what a slide is. You're literally just sliding it around to different parts, okay? Let's say I wanted to go four to the right and three down. So then I would take the shape and I'd go one, two, three, four units to the right and three units down. One, two, three. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at the corner. And from the corner I'm counting one, two, three, four, and then that corner I go one, two, three, and the whole shape slides with that. Let's say I want to go three up and five to the right. So I'm looking at the corner, you just kind of pick a point and you go up one, two, three, and five to the right. One, two, three, that's what a translation is. Now, I know it's nothing exciting, and it, but it's very basic for how they use in computer programming, how they make 3D models and games and things like that, how they make your figure in a video game move around. It's the basics, the translation. We're sliding that shape around the coordinate grid. Now, I'm going to show you the assignment. All right. So on the assignment, I've given you, looks like nine, nine problems where you're going to practice translating a shape. Okay? For example, right here, this little sideways T. It wants to go two units left and six units down. So that means every point, every corner, every piece of this is going to slide two units left and six units down. So I'm going to take this top corner, two units left. One, two, and six units down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means this corner goes here and there. It's going to end up here. Next one, two units left. One, two, six units down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. And I'm going to do that to every point and draw the shape. One, two units left. One, two, three, four, five, six units. Two to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six units down. You eventually get to the point where you can kind of see the shape and how it's going to look. And you can almost start filling it in, and I know it's going to look something like this. Now let me check it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that looks perfect. The mathematical rule is all the X's move to the left. So we're going left. Two point to the negatives, negative two. And all the y's, that's the up and down value. In this case, it's going down, so it would be down six. If it was up, I would be adding. If it was to the right, I would be adding. Okay? Let me do uh, let me do one more here. Let me do number four for you guys so you can see it. Two units left, three units up. Well, two units left on the x-axis. Two units left, that means we're going back two. We're going left two, negative two. Three units up, that's the y-axis, that's up and down, so that's y plus three. We're going up three. So I take each point, and I go left two, up three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And I can start seeing my shape form, and so left two up three would make this new shape right there. That's what I'm wanting you guys to do today. Practice it, and then we'll move on from there. Thanks, guys.